Yeah, I'm Jim Cannon, the president and CEO of AM General. And everyone knows AM General, of course, is the exclusive manufacturer of the Humvee. In our booth today, we have the next generation of Humvee that we call the Humvee Sabre, as well as various technologies integrated on that platform. It's an evolution. You know, the Humvee is the most prolific military vehicle in the world, so we want it as much as possible when it comes to automotive components, critical spare parts, to keep some commonality. So if you're able to do maintenance on Humvees now, you can be very familiar with this vehicle, but we wanted to make it much more survivable and more mobile. So bigger engine, bigger transmission, better suspension, but the biggest difference is a fully welded armored capsule that will give you JLTV-like protection, but at half the weight, under 17,000 pounds, and half the cost. Well, a lot has changed from the original Humvee to even a Humvee today. Now, the hood is iconic, the light and grill are iconic, but whether it be safety features added to the vehicle, the engine, other you know restraint systems, there have been a lot of upgrades and all of those are incorporated uh, on this Sabre. One important point is it's got a patented continually hot form W-shaped hull that gives under blast protection that you would get from a V-shaped hull, but on a much lower profile. The two passenger doors in the back actually utilize a camera system and that helps with the armor protection. We're using very exotic metals to be able to keep the weight low, but still have the, the protection from under blast or kinetics. And so by having cameras in the back, uh, there's no need to breach the capsule to put transparent armor in place. Makes a stronger overall armor capsule and great visibility from inside the vehicle. So with the Humvee Sabre, what you see here today is an addition that we call the Blade Edition. So on the back of it, we've integrated 10 Switchblade 600 drones, four Switchblade 300 drones, and from the back seat, an operator can manage and operate all of these loitering weapon systems from the safety of the vehicle, on the move, uh, and of course, as winter is approaching in Europe, for example, uh, have a heated environment to be just much more comfortable and out of the elements. Also, you see on this vehicle, we've partnered with Arcus with their Hornet Remote Weapon Station. This one is a variant that has a counter UAS system. So you can detect drones and, and their base station communication out further, in closer detect drones, and with a 40 millimeter cannon uh, and air burst effect, eliminate those drones. So in the Humvee Sabre Blade Edition, uh, it's a, a rolling capacity to launch drones on the offensive, but also protect itself from other drones on the battlefield. We're AeroVironment. We're the world's leading producer of small unmanned aircraft. Our systems go from the surface of Mars, where we developed the helicopter that's flying over Mars today, to subsurfaces, aircraft that are launched out of submarines. We have ground robots, and then we have many different types of unmanned aircraft systems that fly from near ground level up into the stratosphere. Most of our aircraft are in the Group 1 and Group 2 unmanned aircraft systems. We also make tactical missile systems. So a loitering ammunition is a hybrid between an unmanned aircraft system and a missile. So it flies to the target, and then when it gets to the target, the operator can fly in the area of the target, so loiter, and find a target of choice and attack the target from whatever angle is best suited by that operator to strike that target to defeat the target. And we have actually three types of loitering munitions. The Switchblade 300 comes in two variations. In Ukraine today, the Ukrainian forces use the Switchblade 300 that's fired from the ground, almost like a mortar system. It comes out of a tube. It can fly out to 10, 12 kilometers to strike soft targets precisely strike soft targets controlled by the operator. 
Yeah, so the main components of the system, the launch tube houses on the inside of it the Switchblade 300. The operator never handles the aircraft directly, just handles the tube. Once the operator sets it up on the ground, then with his controller, he launches the Switchblade 300. As it flies out of the tube, its wings automatically deploy, and then he'll fly that system through waypoint navigation, through visual navigation, whatever the operator chooses to navigate to the target, and then when he gets over the target, can loiter in the area of the target. We have a patented technology called Wave Off, where in the final attack of the target, if the operator realizes that target is not ideal, he can wave off up to the last couple seconds of that flight, and the aircraft will quickly dash away from the target. The operator can then determine how they want to address the target from perhaps a different angle, and then continue the operation. A variation of the 300 is also fired from submarines. It's called Black Wing. So it has the same size wings, the same size body. It is not a loitering munition because it doesn't have a warhead. It's a reconnaissance aircraft for a submarine that's below surface. The 300 launch tube enables a ground soldier to carry the 300 on their backpack. Switchblade 600 is definitely the big brother of the Switchblade family. Its size is driven by the Javelin warhead. We carry the same warhead. And the battery power you need to go to those 90 kilometers worth of range. Javelin has a four and a half kilometer range, so it's meant for the close fight. We're meant for the deep fight. We can fly to 90 kilometers and provide the same lethality at any angle that the operator wants to take as he loiters in that area to defeat enemy targets. It's larger, you know, for many reasons to include those two, and it carries, therefore, larger optics. So it has very capable optics, pan tilts based upon the operator's controls during the flight of the missile system.